Howdy peeps, and welcome back to the channel. It's Market Watch Saturday. It is time to review the Digimon trading card game market. And, you know, depending on where you are in the world, you might have EX7 right now. So shout out to you if you do. I am jealous. But we got to still prep for our EX7 over here. So today's Market Watch is going to be all about that today. And if you guys enjoy that, please like, please comment, and subscribe. Turn that notification bell into Smash Potatoes. That way you know when all these amazing Digimon videos go live. Over here in Omnimon land, as per tradition, ain't nothing's really changing. Uh, the 9.99 one is no longer featured though. Now I got 7.99 for the lottery card here. That's great. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> funny world we live in, eh? Speaking of Omnimon cards, Ty and Matt is back on a little bit of a climb right now. My recommendation would be to sell this card while it's hot because the further away we move from BT17 and a world where the Omnimon deck is like playable at a regional level, I'm using that term very loosely, um, the further down the prices are going to go. That being said, though, this will be one of those cards where you might want to invest in it later on in life, where uh, maybe this gets down to like 10 ish dollars or whatever. And you know that Omnimon support ain't going anywhere. You, you know there will be an Omnimon deck again at some point because it's Omnimon. Omnimon is based. I don't know if you guys knew this, but Omnimon is crazy. He's the best Digimon, Omnimon, okay? So, yeah, I don't know what to tell you. If I can just put this back up. Oh, well, well, that's, uh, you guys can just watch this and you can laugh at me, and that's okay. Not a big deal. Sometimes it's good to laugh, right? Okay, we're, we're fixed. I think we're fixed. That was embarrassing. My point remains, though. Omnimon is based, and Bandai knows that Omnimon is a moneymaker. There will be more Omnimon support at some point in the future, and you should probably grab that card at some point. But not now. Now, now you sell. Uh, Fenrir Lugamon Zacian form is dropping a lot in price. Uh, for now, the deck is pretty much done getting support, and it's still playable in EX7, like it's still fine. But there'll be other things for people to try to play, and then Release Booster 2 will come out, and this will fall off again a little bit. It's, it's whatever. Uh, scrambles might make bring this back in a little bit, and then it might phase out. It, you know, it's a whole song and dance. But until it gets more support announced, it's probably going to keep falling in price. Lusamon cards. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. We're going through it. And this one has 14 listings left, but by the time it gets to the end of page one, it's 40 bucks. 14 listings is not a lot. This one also has 14 listings left. It's really not a lot before things explode here. So be very cautious. I would grab these Lusamons while you can. Maybe even these ones. This one's a bit of a gamble. You should have grabbed them out of there in the 20s. But this one you probably sh should still grab. Because this one will exceed 40 bucks eventually. Uh, next, Angelmon Ace lottery card. So I've also talked about this. But uh, the really expensive ones are still here. But people here are trying to sell for 330 for 350 and it ain't happening. It's not happening. People don't want to spend this money on this card. Uh, the overall demand for lottery cards, for the most part, is falling. You know, lottery cards are all hot and spicy when they come out and the talk of the town. But once its time has passed, no one really cares anymore. Uh, it's a shame because these lottery cards are really freaking cool. But uh, if they don't care, then they don't care, right? We have Deltamon. Deltamon being a composite trait Digimon, uh, with some BT19 BT19 hype, is causing this card to go on a buyout. So if you have some of these cards, find them and sell them. I know that I will be. I know I have like a place that's somewhere that I might sell now if I can find it and just buy back later. That's probably what I'm going to do. Death X Mon. The reprint is basically upon us. Uh, Death X will be at a time where it actually like really falls in price. Maybe, maybe, but it won't be the easiest thing to pull either. So just be careful. Um, but it has been going down. Hopefully it's sold before the reprint like we talked about months ago. Uh, yeah, this card's going down. Megadramon. More hype is causing this and its regular art counterpart to explode in price right now. You can see people are just eating this card up. They are. Um, that's great. That's fun. You should sell this card while you can because it will fall in price. Nightmon Promo is a card that might continue to fall a little bit in price, but you should consider picking this up soon because it's only a matter of time before we get our Lord Nightmon cards over here. And when we do, 
this one shoots right back up in price. Seedramon. This card is going up in price because of the uh, the decode support. And by the way, if you didn't see my decode video yesterday, you should go and watch it when you're done here. It'll only be a few more minutes here. You should go watch that video. But yeah, this card has, see has seen some buy activity because of that. Because of it. Mainly on the on over here, the 12th. But like, it's it's good. It's a card that you want for that strategy. Probably four copies of it, honestly. So yeah, I'm not surprised. You might want to consider selling them soon. Or now. If you want to depends what you bought it at um ex7 it is still pre-sales for us i recommend not buying the pre-sale um i will talk about shoto real quick because one of my viewers is like about the pre-sale and shotos um it will go back down in price once the set is out it is only a rare uh and that's that's really it the rest of the cards here for the most part are pretty much overpriced uh like there's no reason for this to be 20 bucks and this for to be 15 there's no reason for this to be 20. There's no reason for this to be 45. 50 for a waifu, that's good. Like, this one won't drop as far. This one will drop farther. A lot, lot of stuff happening here. Uh, just lots of crazy stuff. Uh, Mega Agumon Ace is exploding in price. This is one of the cards that if you're playing Mother Shoto Control, you're probably playing this card. And as such, it has been bought. A lot. So if you have random copies of this card, chilling because you've never really used it, because you want your Rapamon deck for other reasons or whatever, you probably should consider selling your spare copies now, because the hype is real. And this card doesn't, like, it, it's just good. It's just fine, honestly. Uh, Wanyamon. This common egg from BT11 is randomly with shipping just about three bucks. Uh, check your box, see what you got. This is a good blue egg. It's the one I play in Mirage. It treats me very well. And just do well. Sell, sell some bulk for some money. You can sell one of these for coffee. Pretty cool. Um, Metal Greybone from the Cross Encounter. Wow. A little bit of action here. A little bit of stuff happening. We knew this would happen with Blue Flare support. It's been a slow burn. Um, this card this card rises and falls all the time. It's due for a rise. You should probably buy it before it rises. Uh, we have Gobblemon over here. Gobblemon hype and all that is just real. <laughs> uh... And that's fine. So sell this card while you can make some good money on it. The last card today I want to talk about is Galactamon. Again, because it's a Digimon Liberator-esque card. This is a card that has also done some waves. And will continue to do waves because of Digimon Liberator. So this is one of those cards. And there's others, by the way. Liberator-esque, like the purple, red, imperial, and all that stuff. This card could continue to rise in price at some point. So maybe grab your copies while you can. And that is all for today, everybody. Let me know what you think, and have a great weekend. Bye!